Hi, hello guys. Today we are going to be doing the Bender 3D node. It's a pretty nifty node. Let's get straight to it. So let's let's go to the Fusion page and um, press Shift Spacebar. Type Bender and add Bender 3D which will automatically create a media out node and then pull in the Bender 3D node. Right. Let's um, try to connect Bender 3D to media out. It won't because it's a 3D node. It needs a renderer node, which will pull in, connect the Bender 3D to the renderer node and connect the renderer node to the media out. Nothing shows. Let's make it a single viewer. Let's close the effects tab. So Bender 3D needs an input, right? A 3D input. So I connect the image plane to Bender 3D. So we have an image plane there. Showing in the media out now. Now for the image plane, let's just increase the scale in this image. Now let's click on Bender 3D and drag that to the view out. We see the view there, right? Cool. Now let's check the settings for Bender 3D. So there are four types, bend, taper, twist and share for bend in bends like so right then for taper it it does that <laughs> it tapers like that then twists yeah well it twists like that and um, for share it shares like that right now for each of them, for Bender, for example, I can increase the amount, that's how I bend it, by increasing the amount. If I click on that, you see the shading for, so you see the bend a little bit more. So if I increase the amount, I can bend it. Right now it's bending along the Y axis, right? So if I click on X axis, you see it bends along the X axis. For Z, nothing will happen because this is if is a flat plane. If it was something that's extruded, it will, you will see it bend across the Z axis, right? Um, then let's move on to angle. Angle would determine the point around which the bend will happen the most. So that's what the angle does. Then the center will determine the point around which the bend will happen. You see that? So it's rotating around the lower part of the image and the rain determines what part of the 3D object will be affected by the bend. The shorter the range, the smaller the parts of the 3D image that will be affected by the bend. This applies to all four, all four um, bender types except for share. Okay. So let's pull in a text node to show you one other thing, right? And let's say I bring in a merge node in between the image screen and bend the 3D and connect text 3D to the image 3D. Let's type text. Let's extrude it a bit. Let's give it a color so we get to see what we're working with. Let's hold down Alt or option on the keyboard and drag your with, with your middle mouse held but held down. Then you can increase the extrusion depth. Yeah. So now we have that done. If you go to Bender 3D and click click on Bender 3D, then we go to amount, we can bend it. But well, because group objects is not ticked, each one bends around its own axis. But if we tick group objects, I mean bend it. They bend together. That's what group object is for. Yeah, so that's that about bend. Then we go to taper. Taper is essentially the same thing, right? And then we can rub it out on the x axis, the y axis, the z axis. Same thing for twist. You can get some interesting effects if you try this thing out and all that, right? So that's how that works. We can move, we can change the axis for twists to eggs. So we see everything twist that way, right? much like what I showed you initially when I was introducing the nodes. Then we can 
Then for bend, of course, you see bends like that. You can make it even see Mercedes flapping in the wind. So it goes across all four. I'm not going to go through all of them. You can test it in your time. You see, we bent it so well here, but the image plane is showing jagged edges. To eliminate that, you go to image plane, go to controls, and increase all the regions. So it's smoother now. You can even increase it to perhaps 100 to make it even smoother, but it increases the render times. That's what the more the subdivision is, the more the computing power involved for rendering it. So that's it about the Bender 3D load. Thanks guys for joining me on this one. It's a pretty quick one and I hope you enjoyed it. Learned one or two things. See you on the next one. Cheers.